MetaMask is the gateway to Binance Smart Chain projects like decentralized exchanges and IDEO launchpads. But maybe you're not always on your computer when a good IDEO comes out or maybe you quickly want to do a trade. Well, that's where MetaMask mobile app comes in handy. What's up? My name is Caroline and this is Wealth in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. In this video, I'll show you how you can set up your own MetaMask mobile app so that you can connect to Binance Smart Chain products like PancakeSwap. It's not that straightforward, so I'll walk you through all of it step by step so that you get don't get lost on the way. Okay, so I'll show you the setup on an Android mobile phone, but I'm pretty sure it works similarly on an iOS device. So first of all, you have to go to the App Store and then download MetaMask. So you click, type in MetaMask and then click on Install. Once that has been installed, click on Open. And then uh, I think you have to tap in the middle that it moves maybe moves by itself. It, it takes a few seconds before it starts loading. Just try tapping a few times. Okay, so that took a few seconds, but now it has been loaded. Now, in order to install the app on your phone, it's best to first set it up on your desktop. That's just the easiest way, because then you can just sync it. So if you, if you haven't done that already, check out the video linked on top of my head that walks you through all of that step by step. Once you've done that, come back to this video. All right, now in here we click on Get Started. And then because we've already installed the MetaMask extension on our desktop, we click on sync with MetaMask extension. And now it shows you exactly what you have to do. So we'll do the exact steps that are listed here. So first of all, we have to open the extension on our desktop. So that is in here. Then we go to settings. So that's um, on the top right, you click that, uh, that round icon and then go down to settings and then click on advanced. Now here it says already sync with mobile and that's what is number three. Now we have to confirm with our password. Okay, and the last one is scan the QR code to start syncing. So we'll click on scan on mobile and then scan that code. So it might not work the first time, that has happened to me before. In that case, just close the extension and then open it again and just do the same thing one more time. All right, now it has finally worked. What I've done is I've changed to the Ethereum mainnet. Maybe that's the reason. Maybe try it this way or otherwise just try it a couple of times. It will work at some point. Okay, so you can close that on desktop and then decide on mobile whether you want to enable biometrics or no. I'll click on no for now. Cool, and that's it. Now uh, your wallet has been imported. Now, the issue to note is that it only imports the Ethereum mainnet, first of all. So you have to decide whether you want to agree to that or not. I'll click no thanks. And now you can see if you click, so first of all, it wants to take you to a tour. I'll do no thanks because it's, I'll show you all of it. And if you click on wallet on the top, you can see that Smart Chain, the Binance Smart Chain is not listed in here. So if you've watched my previous tutorial about how to set up MetaMask desktop extension, then you will have in imported the Smart Chain, the Binance Smart Chain, but it's not showing up in here. So what we'll have to do to, in order to use it and in order to use decentralized exchanges like PancakeSwap we'll have, is we'll have to import it again on mobile. So we'll do that now. So we'll have to go to this article from the Binance Academy. I'll link it in the description so you can just click on that. And then we'll scroll down. So we'll do that on mobile and here are all the, the information that we need. So we'll just set that up right now. So we'll go to the top left, click on the three stripes, then click on setting, uh, scroll down, click on network and then click on add network. Okay, so here we have to enter all these this information. So we'll just do that now quickly. Now we have to copy that URL. Put it in here. ID chain. Symbol was BNB. And then that URL as well. Okay, so we've got all of that, and then we can click on add. Yay, there we go. So now we have both uh, both 
soft wallets in it we have the ethereum one and binance smart chain so now we can finally start using pancakeswap and the like now this is not super straightforward so what i was doing at first was i went into my chrome browser typed in pancakeswap or trustpad and then wanted to connect to my wallet and that didn't work so what you have to do is it in order to access another uh, another platform that uses Binance Smart Chain with your mobile phone, with your wallet, is you have to click on the three lines on the top left again, and then click on browser. So that gets you to, not that yet, but then once you click it, once you type it in here, so let's uh, type in PancakeSwap. There you go. And that connects you to DuckDuckGo. And then you can just normally click on that. Uh, it's pancakeswap.finance. So that gets you to the normal exchange as you know it. And then uh, just as you would do on desktop, you can click on connect, choose MetaMask. And now you see already that it chooses the app already and you can click on connect. And that's it, you're connected. So if you know all the steps, it's not that difficult, but if you don't, then you might be lost on the way. So this is the way to do it. Maybe they'll fix it in the future with the browser. I know this is a bit of an extra step, but once you know it, I think it's fine. All right, so that's how you set up and sync your MetaMask on your mobile phone and how to connect it to Binance Smart Check chain products it works the exact same way with PancakeSwap as it does with any other Binance Smart Chain product product or project so you would just connect normally like you would on desktop but within the MetaMask browser let me know if you still have any open questions or if something didn't work leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible if you like this video hit the like button down below share with your friends and be sure to subscribe thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye